In the depths of the world's oceans lie hidden treasures, tales of adventure, and secrets lost in time. Today we plunge into these watery depths to uncover the stories of the most valuable and elusive shipwrecks still undiscovered. Our globe is more water than land, a vast expanse of blue that has long been a stage for humanity's most daring exploits. And beneath the waves, a testament to these adventures remains, frozen in time and waiting to be discovered. According to UNESCO, there are over three million shipwrecks hidden along the ocean floor, remnants of voyages both triumphant and tragic. These underwater time capsules tell stories of exploration, warfare and trade, of cultures clashing and civilizations emerging. They are fragments of our past, holding the allure of treasure and the mystery of the unknown. Imagine the Santa Maria, the largest of Christopher Columbus's ships, now resting in its watery grave after running into a coral reef off the coast of Haiti in 1492. Or the HMS Endeavour, the vessel that carried Captain James Cook on his groundbreaking explorations, its final resting place still a mystery. But it's not just about the ships themselves, it's about the treasures they carried, the secrets they held, the stories they tell. The Griffin, for instance, disappeared into the depths of Lake Michigan, taking with it a crew and a cargo of furs. The Flor de la Mar sank in the Strait of Malacca, taking to the deep a vast treasure that still remains unclaimed. Each shipwreck is a page in the history book of mankind, a tale of bravery, ambition, discovery, and sometimes disaster. They are time capsules, holding clues to our past and promising riches for those daring enough to seek them out. Join us as we embark on a journey beneath the sea, exploring the stories of five of the most famous and valuable shipwrecks still waiting to be found. Our journey begins with the Santa Maria, a vessel that's as renowned as the man who commanded it, Christopher Columbus. This ship, the largest of Columbus's fleet, was a beacon of hope and ambition. In the year of 1492, it set sail, carrying dreams of discovery and exploration. The Santa Maria, a robust and sturdy vessel, was built to withstand the challenging conditions of the Atlantic. Its voyage was not just a journey across the ocean, but a testament to human spirit and relentless pursuit of the unknown. Yet even the most robust ships are not immune to the whims of the sea. The Santa Maria, unfortunately, met its untimely end off the coast of present-day Haiti. After a long voyage, the ship ran into a coral reef. It's a harsh reminder that the sea is as unforgiving as it is mysterious. Since the sinking of the Santa Maria, efforts have been made to locate it. Over the centuries, many have tried to uncover its resting place, hoping to piece together the ship's final journey. Despite these attempts, the Santa Maria's exact location remains a mystery. It's a tantalizing puzzle that continues to captivate historians and treasure hunters alike. Such a historic vessel holds more than just physical treasure. It's a time capsule from an era that marked the beginning of widespread exploration and discovery. Its secrets are not just of gold and silver, but also of the hopes, dreams and challenges faced by those who dared to venture into the unknown. The Santa Maria remains hidden, its secrets locked away beneath the waves, waiting for the day they will be unearthed. And who knows? Perhaps that day is closer than we think. Next we set sail with the HMS Endeavour, the ship that carried Captain James Cook on his explorations. This vessel, launched in 1768 from Whitby, England, was a remarkable ship, built to withstand the harshest of conditions. It was no ordinary ship, but a vessel of discovery, a vessel of science, and the vessel that would take Cook on his first great voyage of exploration. The Endeavour was a sturdy, well-built ship, designed to withstand the rigours of long sea voyages. It was equipped with the latest navigational tools of the time, and its crew was made up of experienced sailors led by the capable and adventurous Captain Cook. Cook's first voyage aboard the Endeavour, from 1768 to 1771, was a journey of discovery. The ship sailed from England to Tahiti, then on to the east coast of Australia and New Zealand, charting the unknown southern hemisphere. It was a voyage that would change the world's understanding of geography and navigation. But what happened to the HMS Endeavour after these epic voyages? The ship mysteriously disappeared from the historical records after it was sold into private hands in 1775. Its fate, much like the treasures it may have carried, remains unknown. 
There have been many theories and speculations about the location of the Endeavour's wreck. One of the most intriguing theories suggests that the wreck of the Endeavour may lie off Newport Harbour, Rhode Island. This theory was sparked by the discovery of an old shipwreck in the area. Could this be the long-lost Endeavour? The question still remains unanswered, and the search for the Endeavour continues. The final resting place of the HMS Endeavour remains a mystery, its story incomplete, its treasures untouched. But the spirit of exploration that the endeavour embodies lives on, inspiring new generations to set sail into the unknown, just as Captain Cook and his crew did more than 250 years ago. Now, we venture into the freshwater depths of Lake Michigan in search of the Griffin. This ship, named after the mythical creature, was a vessel used by the renowned French explorer René Robert Cavalier, Sieur de La Salle. The Griffin was instrumental in furthering La Salle's explorations, as he sought to establish a fur trade in New France, now known as Canada. Constructed in the late 17th century, the Griffin was a sturdy ship, built to withstand the harsh conditions of the Great Lakes. Its maiden voyage in September of 1679 was also its last. Laden with a cargo of furs and staffed by a crew of 17, the ship mysteriously disappeared after setting off from an island in Lake Michigan. The fates of the Griffin, its crew, and the precious cargo remain unknown. The ship's disappearance triggered numerous theories and conjectures. Some believe it was sunk by a violent storm, while others suggest it was ambushed by rival fur traders. Yet despite the numerous hypotheses, the Griffin continues to elude discovery. Over the centuries, the Griffin has become a legend, inspiring countless expeditions and adventures. Treasure hunters, historians and enthusiasts alike have tried and failed to locate the ship, the search has included sophisticated sonar equipment, underwater cameras, and even remotely operated vehicles. Yet all these efforts have been in vain, reinforcing the mystery and allure of the Griffin. The Griffin's story is not just about a lost ship, it's a tale of ambition, exploration, and the relentless pursuit of wealth. It's a reminder of the risks taken by early explorers venturing into unknown territories with hopes of untold riches. The Griffin, though lost, has left behind a legacy that continues to captivate and inspire. The Griffin, still missing, continues to intrigue and inspire its tale a siren's call to treasure hunters. We now cross the Atlantic to the waters off Yorkshire, England, where the Bonhomme Richard sank after a fierce battle. The Bonhomme Richard, a symbol of bold defiance and naval prowess, had a remarkable life even before it met its watery end. Originally a French merchant ship, it was gifted to the United States in 1779 by the French shipping magnate Jacques Donatien Le Ray. The ship was then refitted for naval warfare and placed under the command of the intrepid John Paul Jones. In the twilight of September 23, 1779, the Bonhomme Richard engaged in an epic duel with the British frigate HMS Serapis. The battle was a part of the American Revolutionary War, and took place off the coast of Flamborough ahead Yorkshire. Despite being outgunned and severely damaged, the Bonhomme Richard, under Jones's fearless leadership, managed to capture the Serapis. However, the victory came at a cost. The Bonhomme Richard, fatally wounded, sank into the North Sea's cold waters the following day. Since then, the ship has become one of the most sought-after underwater treasures. Over the centuries, countless expeditions have been launched in an attempt to locate the Bonhomme Richard. The ship's wreckage is believed to house a wealth of artefacts that would provide a fascinating glimpse into the late 18th century naval warfare. In recent years, the search for the Bonhomme Richard has been reinvigorated. Modern technology like sonar imaging and remotely operated vehicles has been deployed to scour the seabed. Yet, the exact location of the ship remains a mystery. The elusive Bonhomme Richer continues to captivate the imaginations of historians, archaeologists and treasure hunters alike. The Bonhomme Richard lies somewhere off Flamborough Head, a silent witness to a time of war and revolution. Our journey takes us now to the Strait of Malacca, where the Portuguese ship Flor de la Mar sank with a treasure beyond imagination. The Flor de la Mar, or Flower of the Sea, was a Portuguese carrack that set sail during the early 16th century. It was one of the largest and most grandiose vessels of its time, a symbol of Portugal's naval prowess and their expanding empire. Its maiden voyage was in 1502, 
and it was part of many notable naval expeditions, making it a ship of significant historical value. The Flor de la Mar was captained by the Portuguese explorer Afonso de Albuquerque. In 1511, it embarked on a journey that would become its last. After successfully capturing the city of Malacca, a hub of trade and wealth, the ship was laden with a vast collection of treasures, gold, precious gems and artefacts of immeasurable value. But as fate would have it, the laden ship never made it back to Portugal. While navigating the treacherous waters of the Strait of Malacca, the ship was caught in a violent storm. The vessel, burdened by its heavy cargo, succumbed to the wrath of the sea and sank, taking its crew and the priceless treasure with it to the ocean depths. Ever since the Flor de la Mar sank, it has become the stuff of legend. The ship and its treasure are believed to be hidden somewhere in the Strait of Malacca, and over the years, numerous attempts have been made to locate the wreckage. Despite modern technology and sophisticated equipment, the exact location of the ship remains a mystery. Treasure hunters, historians and adventurers from around the globe are drawn to the allure of the Flor de la Mar and its lost treasure. The promise of riches and the thrill of discovery continue to fuel their determination, but the ship, much like the ocean it sailed, holds onto its secrets tightly. The Flor de la Mar, one of the most tantalizing shipwrecks yet to be discovered, continues to captivate treasure hunters worldwide. The stories of these shipwrecks are as vast and mysterious as the oceans themselves. From the Santa Maria, the largest of Christopher Columbus' ships, which met its fate on a coral reef off Haiti, to the HMS Endeavour that carried Captain James Cook on his explorations. Their locations remain unknown. The Griffin, used by explorer René Robert Cavalier, Sieur de La Salle, vanished in Lake Michigan, along with its crew and precious cargo of furs. The Bonhomme Richard, under the command of John Paul Jones, sank after a fierce battle with the British off the coast of England. And let's not forget the Flor de la Mar, a Portuguese vessel that sank in the Strait of Malacca, taking with it a vast treasure. Each of these shipwrecks holds a piece of our shared history, a treasure trove of stories, and potentially literal treasures yet to be discovered. As we return to the surface, we leave behind a world of undiscovered treasures and untold stories each waiting for the day they will finally be found.